Hello again, so today's video is an unboxing of my new Superior Labor Leather Pen Roll from Bum Kuchin. I don't know how to pronounce the store, but this has been on my wish list for quite some time, and so I finally just decided to go for it. And I love it. I love the way it feels, I love the way it smells, I am just... And the way it sounds, can you hear that squishy, squeaky leather? sound oh my goodness it is just pretty loud <laughs> but I'm a huge fan of this pen roll already and I've just barely had it for like a couple days <laughs> I chose the light brown color just because I thought it was really pretty but I do think the natural leather which would have kind of turned into this color later on would have been nice too but I'm really excited to see this pen roll patina and get dark with wear and just love and use and so i'm gonna use this for my currently inked pens um i mean i plan to put maybe mo most of them in here if not all um and of course depending on how i feel i may with like my rotation of inked pens i may change it or if i acquire any new ones then i can always make room for them I usually don't like to have too many pens inked up at the like at the same time just because I don't want any of them to go like unused for long periods of time but so far I think I've been except I think maybe out of all of the pens I have right now on the screen Fox is probably the one and my eco that I haven't been using on a on some basis I think all the other ones have gotten pretty good use um, I think the one I use use the most right now is my student, my Caveco student. Um, that one, I don't know if it's just the combination of the nib and the ink, but I have been using that to journal quite a bit. I do like that, you know, there's four pockets and the big, like there's a, the fourth one is a bigger pocket so I can fit a little bit more. So far, based on the size of my pens right now, I can only fit two in the smaller three sectioned pockets. So I have the first two, I have pocket pens, both most of them are Caveco and then of course a Sailor and then I have my student and my Eco and then the big pocket will have all three of my Conklin pens and I really like the clips on my, my word gauge and on my All-American but I hate like I hate the clip on the um, Olive Conklin because it is just so difficult to like clip it onto things and I really wish they made it like the other two Conklins but they didn't but anyway that's currently what I have inside my pen roll um, I do like that you can kind of have it folded in half kind of or you know I think I prefer it rolled just because I feel like it just makes the pen roll more small but I really do like the way it looks it's just so cute and it I love the buckle aspect of it I did have I, I did purchase a different pen roll a while back and that one had just a string that you wrap around and, and kind of hide it in there but I really do like the way it looks um, with the buckle and so I've decided to make it to where the flap is even further down because most of my pens are pretty short so if my pens are a little bit longer then I can adjust it from there which I think is really nice for you know the leather is so trainable and you can kind of mix it up and so I think I can fit at least five pens yeah five pens in the first one and I just I know to see here I am trying to put like another Quebeco and I don't know if it's just because like the leather needs to stretch out a little bit maybe or just because the Cavecos are pretty wide pens um, so right now I'm just noticing that yeah these little ones can only fit two pens inside but I do like you know I can use this fourth pocket for some other things too I don't have to carry all you know I don't have to fill all the pockets in order to use this roll I can put in my Canon Ivy if I'm like going on a trip and trying to keep it minimal so I do like that it, it rolls a little awkward in the three part roll so if I just fold it kind of in half it'll have um you know it's still kind of compact and easy to kind of place in my bag or something and this is me just trying to train it to where it'll be the crease is a little bit lower you could also put in a tiny little notebook in here again if you're trying to keep things minimal you can carry just a few pens 
or uh, you know other pens besides your you know fountain pens but yeah I do like I do like the way it looks when it's folded in half too I'm loving how many different ways I can use this you know alternatively you can also use it to carry watercolors again if you're just trying to mix up and carry a few things with you i don't typically watercolor too much in my journals i prefer to do that in a different notebook so i wouldn't this wouldn't be something i would carry or use as a watercolor travel bag I have other things that I could use for that, but that's something you can use it for. Um, it still looks really nice. Again, it's compact and easy to carry. You could also use this bigger pocket to put in, you know, a pencil board or some, you know, loose leaf paper or ephemera that you want to put in and then still have room for the tools that you plan on putting in here. For me, it, it would be fountain pens because I don't think I really thought about what other tools I could fit in here. I do have like my washi tape pen holder thing as well as like a, a pair of scissors that look like a you know a pen that could go in here. I mean I have that little ruler I could put in here. You know just certain tools that you you know may need. I, I could also put my tape runner I think in this bigger pocket. I didn't even think to test that out because it's not like you need all the pens in here <laughs> at any given time. It's just I like to have all my pens with me. What do you keep in your pen rolls and pen pouches? Do you like to bring all your inked up pens? Do you keep it minimal or do you use a different kind of pouch? I'm curious. Well, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.